Turned the clock back about 10 hours. Flash flooding <laughs> made a real mess of the commute for many. Norfolk got the worst of the heavy rain. Two inches fell in an hour in parts of the city. And some frustrated residents have reached out to 10 on your side asking what the city or what they can do as street flooding seems to be getting worse. Our Stephanie Hudson joins us now with more on that. Tom and Amy, I know exactly how those frustrated drivers feel. I missed a dentist appointment myself this morning because of the flooded streets. Norfolk has formed a couple of partnerships to help drivers and address climate-related hazards as sea level rise continues to affect the city. But is it enough? Flooded streets. Norfolk is notorious for it. It's mostly frustration more than anything else. Chick-fil-A manager Ben Heath had to temporarily close the restaurant in Ghent this morning. It's the second time in a week. Yeah, no one could get in. Uh, one of my friend's car is actually over here on 16th right now. He's going to get it towed. Navigating flooded roads is tough in this city. That's why the Hampton Roads Planning District partnered with the Waze app to help alert drivers to flooding and alternate routes. There are 20 sensors on roads across the region, including Norfolk, Virginia Beach, Portsmouth, Hampton, and Newport News. If a sensor detects two inches of water, an alert will pop up on the app. But if you're not using the app, you won't know. He thinks something like these high water sensors, now used in Richmond, might help more people. Like 16th Street here, some way to close that off so people <laughs> don't lose their car. When floodwaters trigger these sensors, it activates flashing beacons, message signs, and automatic road barriers. Even more signs like this, just marking how deep the water is, Heath says, might encourage more drivers to turn around. I did reach out to the city of Norfolk, and a spokesperson confirmed the city has nothing like that system in Richmond in place now and said maybe that is something to be developed down the road. Meantime, they encourage drivers to use that Waze app. And if you'd like to see where all those sensors are, you can find that on wavy.com. Stephanie Hudson, 10 on your side.